Hey everyone, welcome back, where we're testing every single mask in the entire known universe, the free world at least. Uh, so uh, today we're looking at a mask that Home Depot was selling, the Firm Grip Face Mask. Let's put it in the clamp, because we got a lot of masks to test here, so we can't waste any time. This is a basic uh, mask that you can find at Home Depot. Let it rip. I'm actually going to be testing two today because we have a 25 pack and we have uh, a 50 pack. And, you know, it is interesting to see if they're exactly the same uh, uh, on, on this uh, machine or if their process is like really messed up and they're completely different. A good mask factory is going to be pretty consistent with the level they're producing. A bad one is going to be different. So this is a uh, batch 2273 and this one is batch uh, or 24473 and this one's batch 24901. So they're pretty close. They're two months apart when they were produced. Um, so should be a little bit different. Again, this is the 25 to 50. I'm testing the 50 box first. So let's take a look at the Home Depot's website. I did buy this the Austin Home Depot. Look, there's 96 in stock at my Home Depot, aisle 14, Bayo 14. Look, that tech, that is baller. That's, I like that. <laughs> 9.97, great price. Um, all right, but let's take a look at the box. Let's open it up and see. It is a uh, soft touch box, so you know I like that. Um, open it up and it is sealed uh, in packaging, so that's two out of two. It is a Chinese mask, which of course you can tell because the quality certificate is there. And uh, actually, yep, the batch number and the uh, date matches. So that's great. They're not making any claims whatsoever on the box or on the listing. They're just like, hey, this is a mask. Um, it is tested to the Chinese standard. It's set on the label, but they're not advertising that, which means that it should be hitting 95%. So they said it was tested to the Chinese face mask standard um, but they're not advertising it. So that was just, I noticed that real quick on the, uh, on the quality certificate. So a really basic mask, but I can tell the construction is like really good. I'm thinking the ear loops are going to pop off though, because these are not, these are not great. And the nose wire is actually super rigid, but small. So let's try this out here. I give it a good, these are, f oh, that, okay. That's good. But look at this. I call that a Nemo ear loop. I think it's one size bigger than the other. Nemo, get it? All right, let's, uh, we'll get back to this in a second. I'm gonna pop over to the, uh, the PFE screen to see how it did. And 94.774. So there you go, what I say, this was the Chinese standard. They weren't making that claim exclusively on the box, but I would expect it to hit 94, uh, 95, and it did. Um, so there you go. I mean, I, you know, it was a little bit below. Again, the American standard is 95%, the lowest ASTM level one. Um, the highest, what I try to look for is ASTM level two or three. Not terrible. Okay, um, I'm gonna uh, look at the breathability and then I'm actually going to, I'm gonna pop over and we're gonna put um, the 25 box in and test it just to see if it's the same. You know, two for one video here. Twice the masks, twice the fun. The breathability is pretty good on that. It was 95.84 on the 50 pack and let's let it rip on the next one. Now this is the 25 pack. I'm going to go back to the box do some more ear loop test on this. It's, it's a really strong, but their quality assurance is not great because almost all of these in the box have a different sized ear loop. So when you try to put it on, oh, and I put it on upside down and backwards. It's like, have you ever put on a mask before Lloyd? I was so excited about the Nemo ear loop. So this is pulling very tight here, very loose there. It happens, but that is a sign of like uh, a pretty poor construction. And every single one of these in this box is that way. So we know that it tested just below 95, but the construction is, um, I'm going to ding them pretty hard for that. I'm trying to see what the, the, the smell is actually pretty good. I'm going to call um, this the uh, cardboard box aisle at Home Depot. You know, uh, if you go and buy boxes because you're going to go move, that's what this smells like. Not offensive, though. I, on, out of 25 points, I give them 20. All right, let's skip back over to the box on the 25 pack. This one is not sealed in plastic, which is interesting. So if you're going to choose, I would definitely go with the 50 pack. And 
No, they're, they're basically the same. Nose wire is really good, really strong. The Nemo ear effect isn't here with, uh, with these ones. So uh, it's a, oh wow, but that one just popped. That's so interesting. So the 25 is not, like the other ones were very strong, but they were off-centered. This one's just breaking off. Let me do the face test on this. Oh, they're really big too. Let me try this. Oh no, that's not gonna come off. I give it five points on those earlips. Doing the smell, and it's it's almost exactly the same. So it's probably a little bit stronger. Um, I'm gonna call this smell uh, a slightly used notebook. You know, it's got some graphite in there. I think it's because this one had them sealed in uh, plastic. This one didn't have them sealed. All right, let's go over to the PFE machine and see how we're doing. Interesting. So this one came out at 90.768, 90.768, four or five points lower, not meeting that standard that we were talking about, the Chinese standard. Um, because there's such a variability, and I'm trying to see, this one was produced two months later. Um, that's not a good brand that I would trust. So I, I love the branding. The branding on this box is just delightful. You know, if I'm a construction worker, I can imagine like this is appealing to me. I like the, you know, it looks like a caterpillar, you know, or something like that. Um, but aside from the branding and the box, I'd skip these ones. All right, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed buying these masks and testing them for you. And if you enjoyed this, do me a favor. Don't give me a like and subscribe. Don't you dare. I'll find out. If there are any likes on this video, I will be so mad. No, I don't want that. I want your masks. If you have masks that are interesting, I'm gonna put a link below where you can submit your mask to us and we will test them. We will test them live on the air. That's not a thing. I'm gonna test them and edit it and do it later. All right, we'll catch you. Thank you. Thank you.